Hi, so let's talk about the check if all characters have equal number of occurrence. So this title actually, you know, define what is, um, what is the definition or description is. So basically, we want to, you know, verify all of the character has the same frequency. So what can we do? We can use using, using the hash map to store the character and its frequency, or using a continuous array to do that. And later on, we can actually verify is the current frequency is actually zero or one or two. I mean, they have to be the same, right? So, yeah, let's do this. So, continue array go to new, new, in twenty six. Convert to convert to a char array to traverse the string s. C minus minus a and then plus plus. So now uh, all of my frequency has been, you know, obtained into a content array. I'm going to say traverse my frequency in a content array if freq equal to zero. I continue, all right? And also I need to uh, create a, in a variable to say same free. So I say equal to no first. So if same free equal to no, I can you know assign the value to the frequency. If you know another value same free is equal to the frequency, they are the same frequency. You can continue. Else, they are. I mean, they don't have the same frequency. You return false. Else, or return true at the end. So. Yeah, simple enough. So this is all of n for the time, all of 26. 26 is a content array size. So the worst case for the time, this is all of n, space is constant. And yeah, so this will be it. All right, let's talk about the hash, hash set. So hash set, character, integer for the map. Traversing my a star two char array meta put c meta k or default just adding the frequency and I can use the hash set to store integer and say for the new hash set for int um, when I traverse a map I can do what Mm, no, the value oh, in value, value, and then map the value, right? And then set the set value. Checking does the size of the set is actually equal to one. This will be it. So, oh. Yeah, for this one, you're using two set and then, sorry, two memory. I mean, it should be still going to be assigning all of n uh, for, the, for the space, all of n for the time. This is all of, you know, how many value in your app. So this is a little bit uh, more space complexity solution. But anyway, so if you have any question, leave a comment and I'll see you later. Bye.